Ladies and gents, welcome back to our City of Liverpool FC save. The end of the season has come, and we come away holding the trophy for the Northwest Counties League First Division, also called the Hallmark Securities League. And on to the Premier Division we move. All in all, it was an absolutely fantastic season. I mean, how can you get angry at a top place finish, right? Sure, we could have figured out the tactics sooner and possibly won the league by a larger margin, but all in all, like I said, it was absolutely fantastic. And a great introduction for myself in lower league management. So let's look at the stats. As you can see, player stats, Callum Lamb pretty much run, ran away with everything. 22 goal score, top goal score, 7.21 average rating, highest, most assists. Uh, he tied with Russell for eight. Pass completion with Kopak at 83%, but man of the match awards, sixth player of the match awards. Uh, he, I mean, he's been terrific. He's been absolutely, by far, our, our best player on the pitch. Now, in terms of the team stats... 42 games played, 66 goals scored, 4th highest, 39 goals allowed, which is 1st. I'm not sure if that's 1st is the best or 1st is the worst, um, but uh, 45 yellow cards, 1 red card. Average attendance, my favorite number, 33. Gotta love that, that's funny. Um, but if you go to the Northwest County League Stats Team Overview, you can see least conceded here is 39, so I'm guessing that first means the best. 39 is pretty good, for, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Games without losing, four. I don't understand that. Um, and somewhere there's a games won in a row. Games scored in a row, games without scoring, no. Uh, so, where, so games without losing, seven, for backup. Games won in a row, three. But how, I don't understand how that's possible considering, unless it's the last three, that, that's the only thing that makes sense considering schedule, I mean look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games in a row all in the first division. So I'm guessing, I, I don't understand what that stat means, that makes no sense. Um, but anyway, we did fairly well. Uh, we won the league obviously, that's the best, I mean you can, the best you can hope for. Transfers and contracts. So let's go home, go to our squad. We did sign a couple of players to contracts, um, or not new players, but to, uh, to ex contract extensions. Now, the first is one that I've been complaining about, um, and I actually lost money on this deal. Um, but Root, James Root, he kept frustrating me and frustrating me because I didn't know what to do and he wanted 45 euro a week. And to me, I was thinking that's a little too expensive. Unfortunately, as I'm starting to realize getting into the Premier League or Premier Division is going to be more expensive. Uh, I signed a player that I'll show you in a minute, a, a new center back for, uh, I forget what it was, but I think it was like 65 or 70 euro a week. So finally, I, I said, screw it. I don't, I can't seem to find a striker that I want. So I ended up by I I, I extended uh, Root's contract 55 euro a week. Um, I had to suck it up. I lost 10 10 euro a week on that deal, but you know his value. Look at that 4.6 thousand. So if you know if someone wants to buy him, um, he, he's going to be some price. He's going to be pricey. So uh, we signed Root to a new contract. Um, we also signed Parker to a new contract. Another person I could not find a goalkeeper to you know replace either him or gold and at 30 euro a week he was just he was a, a deal I mean I, I had to, to sign him up gold is definitely still going to be the first uh, first choice Parker is going to be second but they, it's they've been a, a fairly good pairing so I, I've been happy with that Kelsey Rogers is another one I've given a new contract to there he is 30 euro a week. Uh, he has, I mean, obviously he's been very average in the Northwest Counties League, only two games, but um, the under 23s has been doing fairly well, and my assistant manager keeps saying this guy is going to be the best in, in the Premier Division. Um, so I, I did end up making a, a, giving him a contract. He can play attacking mid center, which is what I need. Um, so he's he's got a new contract and. Hopefully he'll get some good game time next next season. And now finally, the big signing of this season, so far at least. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name. Obaye Daly is all I'll call him. 
He is absolutely fantastic, but he is earning 70 pounds a week, or 70 euro a week, so he is definitely on the pricier side. Funny enough, his value is less than what Root is. Um, but he's he's only a defensive center back. Uh, that's fine. I have no idea how I'll line up next season. Do I line up with uh, a three at the back? Because I do have him, Hancock, and Edgar. So I'm not sure how to deal with next season. Or do I just do a lot of rotation? Um, and Hancock, like I've, I've said, has been you know iffy in the past. So maybe he sits on the bench for a little while and Obaye Daly comes in. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it all, all works. So now really the only thing that I'm missing is a true attacking center mid. And that's going to be what I'm going to be working on next. Um, so we'll see how that, you know, what happens with that. So basically I've, I have played up through the end of June uh, with the new season starting. Preseason has already started. I've got to get some games in there and all that. But, um, but just so you know. So I, I will be looking for an AMC at some point. End of the season awards, you can you can see uh, Callum Lamb again, 75% player of the season, with Root at 10% and Mifsud at 9. And Edgar gets the goal of the season. You'll see that it's the home game against Silsden where we won 3-1. to one. Let's take a look. So here you have Lamb, who lays it off to Rose, backs it back to uh, Kopak, over to Edgar, who just lets it fly. I have no idea how the keeper missed that, but into the back of the net. It was a definitely a fantastic goal. Can't beat that one. Callum Lamb was obviously the, free, the signing of the season. Everyone loved him at free, and he's also the youngest player of the season at 19. Or young player of the season, I should say. Board has injected 30000 to help with the club's running costs. They keep doing this, which is fantastic. I mean, it brings us from the red into the black for a little while until I overspend again. But So I'm enjoying that. But also, a new uh, sponsorship at 4.6 thousand euro unfortunately it is almost 8 thousand less than the previous uh, sponsorship but you know at least we're, we're being sponsored we got some money so I know that this is a lower league save but I do want to do a quick recap on the top European leagues just to see how they did uh, so here you can see the Skybet championship basically Ipswich Norwich and Newcastle all went up uh, so they're gonna be in the Premier Division next season uh, if you care, uh, Rotherham, 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 Sheffield Wednesday, and Burton are all down. You can see on the Premier Division, Arsenal won, Man United, Man City, and Chelsea all top four, Tottenham in fifth, and my Liverpool in sixth just out of, it looks like just out of Euro, uh, Euro spot, so I'm not sure why there's only one spot there, So, but we'll see. Sunderland Hall and, and Middlesbrough all go down. Now, for some reason, I could not click on the 2016-2017 winner uh, to see what the whole division looked like, but the Spanish diversion, Spanish first division, La Liga, Barcelona won, Real Madrid came in second with Atletico uh, in third, pretty much everything's been standard, Juventus in, Sierra, in Serie A won, AC Milan and Inter runners-up, uh, PSG, Lyon, and Monaco in legal... And then the Champions League final, Barcelona over Tottenham in extra time, 1-0. I'm actually, I Tottenham does not have that good of a team to just lose by one goal in extra time to Barcelona. I guess it was just one hell of a season. That's all the leagues, that's the Champions League, that's everything. So one thing I do want to say is what have I learned this season? This is Like I've told you, this is my first season in lower league management. What have I learned? To tell you the truth, honestly, it really is all about the current ability instead of the potential ability. I had, you know, all my players, as you can see, uh, squad. All you can see, potential is through the roof of most of my players. I mean, sure, there's a bunch here that will never see game time or they'll never reach their full potential, at least at this club. But when you're talking about people with contracts for a single year or two, it's really about what they currently have. I do have some players that I have on that I keep renewing contracts for that have potentials that you know to be better you know the best at the club and I'm kind of keeping those along just to see how good they get uh, I could always drop them and you know cut my losses but I want to see you know some of these players they're saying is going to be the best at the club better than uh, you know gold or I think Kelsey Rogers is one that's going to be better than root 
uh, is what my, my coaches are saying. So I want to kind of see how that works and see how they progress. But another thing is it's all about pace. If you're looking for an attacking players, it's got to be all about the pace. But pace is really the big thing. You need fast, pacey players to get up the pitch and get back down when, you know, inevitably they lose the ball or kick it out of bounds or whatever stupid things they're going to do. So you really need a player to get up and da- back down the pitch as quickly as possible. Finishing sucks. You'll see a lot of absolutely shitty kicks in in this you know, in these lower leagues. But you'll see a lot of kicks that just go nowhere, either way over the bar when you're right in front of the goal, or, you know, off to the side when there's, you've got no one in front of you and there's no reason to. It just, a lot of teams finishing sucks. Jacob Holden, I think, was the guy that I said sucked. I mean, he, this was, he had some seriously poor finishing ability, and it's only one to nine, so it's not great. But these guys, you've got to expect that they have no idea where to kick the ball. At most times, you, they could be in front of the goal, uh, and they can just—they're—they're they're gonna sky it, or they're gonna boot it elsewhere, and it's gonna go nowhere near the goals. It's also all about patience. You really have to have patience with your teams. Um, the, my team, I just lost patience with, and I was getting very frustrated because the schedule—the I mean, these—you go two games in a win, and then a loss and a draw, and two games and a loss and a draw and a loss. I mean, it's. It was really all over the place. I kept tweaking the tactics to try and figure out what was going on. And then finally, you know, after ignoring Tom Spirit every single time, finally said, you know what, let's try it. Let's go with the the 4-4-2 diamond formation and just see how it works. And in the end, I mean, you can see how it worked. It, 11 in a row, then Daisy Hill, and then, you know, two, two three more. So it really is all about patience, trying to figure out what you want to do, and then trying to tweak it to do it well. Always listen to your coaches and work from there. Again, Tom Spirit, you know, he he wanted the 4-4-2 diamond tactic. I ignored him for the longest time, and then finally I, I went with it. Uh, the only things I didn't really, I still have kind of not listened to him, is uh, he wants structured a lot versus um, flexible, counter versus standard or attacking. And while I normally would start off with what he wants... I then kind of switch it, sometimes in the first half, to attacking when I know that we have the better players, we have the better squad. So I I kind of threw it to attacking more often than not in kind of ignoring his mentality and team shade comments. But the 4-4-2 diamond was what worked in the end, and that's what I kept with. So You do need more players than your average Premier League team, but not too many. You can see in my squad, I have so many different players, and a lot of them... Uh, let's see, general, no, general info, contract, no, frick's sake, selection info, thank you. You can see, most of them have never played. I mean, all these players right here have never played a single game for me. They may have played in the under 23s or under 18s, but, I mean, even look, five players, one, two, three, four, five, have just come on once. Uh, in the later half stage of the game, the, the Byron Grant came on three times in the later stage of the game. So I could have dealt all these wages I could have saved on. And ba- the, the big issue with a lower league save is money. You have zero money to spend. You, you, know, you, can, you can spend money on their wages, but you know, even then, you've seen my finances are, this is a cash injection right here. And then, I mean, it's starting to slide again. So they got to keep giving me money or we have to start winning things to get money there. But it really is all about the money. I know it's all about current ability. It's all about pace. It's all about patience. But it is, in the end, it's all about the money. And if you don't spend wisely, you will get fired and you will lose everything. So that's pretty much it. So what do I have in stock for next season? To be honest, I'm not actually sure. Do I run this in the background of another save and do monthly updates or something along those lines? Or do I keep going with this save, like I have been for the past couple of weeks? To be honest, I'm really not sure what to do with this save. However, I can finally reveal to you all that I am currently in the works of restarting my Roma save. Loads of people saw my beta save video, and sadly the save itself became corrupt. So I'm not going to be able to continue that save. But I will restart that one in the full version of FM, FM and not the touch version I used in the beta. 
So we're going to see how that goes. That'll be starting very soon. And don't, I mean, don't expect anything too drastic from it. The big question is, can I keep up two saves at the same time? That is why I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this save. I do want to continue it. I don't want to lose it or drop it. I do want to, you know, see how this team progresses. I just don't know if I have the time to do two saves at the same time. And I kind of, I want to drive more people to this channel before I, you know, start going on some, some things that a lot of people just don't care about or won't see. As always, thank you so much for your support, for watching these videos week in and week out. Likes are always greatly appreciated, as are subscribers, subscribes. So be a lamb and click on that like button, that subscribe button, and go ahead while you're at it and share this with all of your friends and family. And I hope things go as well for the real city of Liverpool FC as they have for our save. For right now, I believe they're sitting in second in the Hallmark Securities League. So hopefully they can win promotion as well. I'm really rooting for them. I can't wait to see them in the Premier Division next season. And uh, let's hope that the big things are in store for us as well next season. Take care, and as always, enjoy. Enjoy.